want to take a minute to share a video here looking at our brainwave sensors, uh, taking a look at even a live brainwave signal. So here you can see across the bottom there, those are our three primary brainwave sensors. They're soft, they're squishy, they're super comfortable. There's no spikes that dig into your head. There's no goop that gets left in your hair. Uh, we spent a lot of time developing these. In fact, I spent a lot of time in the basement. So I'm super excited to show them to you today and for you to get to try them real soon. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, we've got a water brush here. Uh, one of these will come with your device. Uh, I'm just gonna brush on a little bit of water to each of those sensors. You don't need a lot. Um, just a little bit. It just activates the um, the signal there. Uh, you don't need so much that it's going to drip. Um, just enough that it feels a little bit cool when you put it on your head. I've got just regular tap water in there. Uh, if you can drink it, it'll be just fine. All right, so I'm going to put it on. If you've got really long hair, you're going to want to part your hair in the middle first. All right. So usually what I'll do is I'll put a finger sort of on the front and the back and just give it a little rock back and forth just to help settle it in. All right, so I'm gonna pull up the app here and get connected. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you our pre-session um, signal check. Um, so that'll help you know that you've got a really good quality signal before you jump in and start a session. While you're running a session in real time, we're constantly monitoring um, the sensors, uh, making sure we're feeding back on good EEG um, signal components and not on noise. All right, so we're connected there. Let me just pull this up. All right, so here's our signal check screen. As I talk, the signal's gonna bounce around. Um, so I'll just let it sit. There we go. And let me show you clenching my teeth what happens. You can see they start get, get screaming at me there. Um, so that's sort of the pre-signal check. Um, again, while the session's running, we're constantly monitoring even faster than what you're seeing there. Um, that's sort of an overall making sure the signal quality is good enough to jump into the session. But let me show you what the actual signal looks like. All right, I'm just gonna put this on here so that we can look at it. Um, okay. Yes, let me, okay, well, there we go. Hopefully you can make that out. Um, let me move over a little bit. So you can see as I, as I move around, uh, you can see that the electrodes are getting bumped a little bit and the signal's jumping around. As I talk, there's gonna be a little bit more noise. It's not as much because we're looking at the signal at the back here, um, but there is noise from the talk. And I'll show you again. Uh, I'm just gonna stop talking and let it settle out. This is what a nice clean uh, brainwave signal looks like. Let me show you the muscle artifact from clenching my jaw. You can see there's lots of noise there uh, when I do that. And now let me show you a brainwave component that we're actually interested in training. Um, and that's alpha. So at the back of the head, when you close your eyes, your alpha signal actually doubles in amplitude and it becomes a really dominant signal. Um, and so you'll be able to see that in a couple of ways. The first way is in this green line, again, the brainwave signal. Um, you're going to see large uh, swooping <laughs> sine wave, okay? Um, you'll be able to make it off. It'll be very distinct. You'll be able to see what that looks like. Um, and then the other thing is the yellow line, this is a spectral analysis. So that's breaking down that signal and looking at its uh, frequency components. And specifically, alpha happens between 8 to 12 hertz. So if you look at the 10, 10 is the center frequency of alpha for most people. Um, and so you're going to see a bump start to form right around that 10 uh, as I close my eyes. And that's the really dominant alpha signal coming out. So let's do that. So there you go, that's what uh, the raw alpha signal looks like and what the spectral analysis looks like. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. 